Hey, it's Jeff Sauer here representing ppccourse.com and I want to talk to you about AdWords conversion tracking. Now AdWords conversion tracking is something that's been around for as long as Google AdWords. It's how we can tell if somebody converted, which generally means that they became a lead or they purchased something from you based on your AdWords ads. Now recently with the Google AdWords interface change, and some cookie laws that are getting adopted with different browsers and different nations, there are some changes that happen with AdWords conversion tracking. And so I want to give you an overview of AdWords conversion tracking as it is today, how to find it, where it works, how it works, and how you can use it to your advantage. So if you're curious about AdWords conversion tracking, or if you just want to refresh your skills, and you've already learned this in the past, but you want to see how it looks in the new interface, listen up, because we're going to talk all about it in this video. Let's talk about Google AdWords conversion tracking. And we are going to answer the question, how do you track success with Google AdWords? And before we get into the actual tracking of conversions, I just want to make a statement. If you trust Google's defaults, the only success that you're going to be able to have, the only success they're going to show you is the number of impressions you get and the number of clicks that you receive on your ads. And this is confirmed when we log into the new Google AdWords dashboard, we can see they focus on clicks and impressions. There's no mention of conversion to be found. But obviously you're finding this video, you're interested in conversions. So we realize there's a deeper tracking need. Are clicks really a sign of success? Well, I would say that there are 110 billion reasons to say yes. Now that number 110 billion is exactly how much revenue Google had in 2017. $110 billion, a little bit more than $110 billion on their financial statements, and that's a lot of money and growing even bigger than they have in previous years. So Google had an amazing year in 2017, and obviously that means to them and to their shareholders that things are going pretty darn well. Now I've been involved with Google search for a long time, since well before they even made a billion dollars in Google AdWords. And what I've found is that the reason why people like Google search advertising so much is because it's accountable in the results. It's accountable, meaning that it tells you exactly how things are performing. It shows you how your campaigns are doing and it performs better than traditional media like TV, radio, everything else, which has very little transparent results. So the main reason for search's growth is because it's accountable as a medium. It provides accountability in advertising results. And that's long been a killer feature in PPC advertising. It's been like that for well over a decade from before Google made their first billion dollars all the way to the $110 billion barrier they just crossed in 2017. But search clicks alone are not accountable for results. They don't really mean anything. It just means that somebody clicked on your ad. It's obviously how Google makes money, but it doesn't provide you with any indicator if somebody became a purchaser, if somebody became a lead, or if they did the action you wanted them to take. It's conversions that we seek. And specifically, it's searchers taking our desired action, taking the action that we want them to take on our website. Now here's the problem. Google forces clicks and impressions on us as advertisers, but they don't force a conversion agenda on us. They really only talk about clicks and impressions. And within the Google AdWords interface, you can see here that the idea of a conversion is actually an afterthought. It's at the end of the columns, you actually have to physically add columns to your website. You have to modify your columns and add conversions in order to even see those results. So you go in there, you modify your columns, and that's the only way that you can actually see conversions in Google AdWords. Now, you might be wondering, why the heck is this happening? Why is it that Google doesn't show you conversions by default? Well, the first reason I can think of is because Google hates how long the word conversions appears in the interface. And honestly, in their defense, it does get overwritten and it does make the overall labeling look a little bit weird. Maybe if they had chosen something that's a little bit shorter of a term than conversion, it would make this streamlined and make the interface better. But maybe they just, as engineers, as UX designers, they just don't like to put the word conversions in there because it looks ugly because it gets overwritten by the different column. Now that's a little bit cheeky. That's probably not really why they did it, but it was a reason that I thought of. Maybe, maybe that's why. Let's start with the easy ones and then let's get into some more valid reasons why it might not happen. Number two, maybe it's because most advertisers don't have conversion tracking enabled on their site. Maybe they look at their own numbers and they say, okay, only a small percentage of our advertiser population actually uses conversion tracking. So I'm not gonna show this by default because most people will see it as being an empty column. 
Number three, maybe they're trusting that their advertisers are smart enough to know that they need to track conversions and that they can add columns and they can take a look at them. Well, I beg to differ on this one because I'm somebody who has taught over 5,000 people how to use Google AdWords and how to get Google AdWords certified, and the majority of them don't know that they can add columns showing conversions. And so when people are just getting started out and they're just playing around with AdWords, it's not intuitive at all that they need to add columns to their reports, and really it's my PPC course that is the first time many people see that they can actually track conversions easily in the AdWords interface. So I would say this one is pretty much invalid, and I'll invalidate it based on my own personal experience working with thousands of people running AdWords campaigns, showing them how it works, and seeing that aha moment when they track conversions for the first time right inside the interface. So I think it's number four because it's a free market. And I'm going to go with the free market argument. Google provides us with a canvas, a canvas that we can use to advertise, a canvas that we can use to put our ideas into action, a canvas we can use to do research and put things out there. And actually, I think that Google has a really great Canvas. I don't complain at all about how awesome the blank Canvas Google provides us is for advertisers. They give us all kinds of cool tools like Google AdWords Editor, Google AdWords Scripts. They make it easy to interface with third-party tools. They have a great Canvas. Google's AdWords system has been mimicked by everybody else in the industry. Google AdWords is awesome. I'm not gonna complain about it. Not one complaint at all at the cool tools they give us. Yes, some things could be improved, but overall, they give us what we need, but it is a blank canvas. It is something that you have to understand what you're looking for. You have to understand how AdWords works in order to take advantage of it. And so Google provides us the canvas, but it's advertisers who need to figure out the rest. And frankly, that is why third parties exist. That is why third parties, like my YouTube channel, like my PPC course, my premium course, teach people how to navigate the crazy market of Google AdWords. It's a free market economy and you're given a blank canvas and we teach you how to do it. So that's why I exist. That's why PPC course exists because not all of this is intuitive and not everybody knows jumping into this thing that they should be tracking conversions or that they can modify columns within AdWords or that they can make the interface do what they want it to do. They don't realize the power that comes with a blank canvas. They just stare at a blank canvas and get confused, get scared off, and they wonder why the heck anybody's paying Google any money at all because it doesn't work for them. So that's the reason why third parties exist. That's the reason why I keep on creating these videos. And as we round up this video, I'm going to give you some free advice. You should be tracking conversions, and I'm going to show you how to do that. So let's go through the steps of setting up Google AdWords conversion tracking. Step one, find your conversion settings in AdWords. Now this is buried in the new interface under a wrench icon. So you click on that wrench and then you select conversions here. Now in step two, you're gonna review your conversions that exist right now, or you're gonna add new ones. Now, if you're just getting started with AdWords conversion tracking, you're gonna click on that blue button to add new ones. Otherwise, if you've been in place for a while, you might be able to see how things have been working and keep track of your conversions that way. But if you're creating a new conversion, you're gonna choose the conversion you wanna track. And in this case, we are gonna choose a website for now. We are gonna choose how to track on a website. Within there, you fill out the data and the details of your conversion. This is step number four. In this case, you give it a name, a category, and a value. And make sure the value is rooted in reality as to the benefits you get for each lead or conversion that comes in. Step five, you're gonna add this global site tag to every page of your website. Now, if you've been in AdWords for a while, you will notice that this is something that has changed. It used to be one conversion tag only on your thank you page or your success page. Now Google wants you to put this on every page of your website. We talk about these changes extensively in our blog, so if you're curious about this code, make sure you check out this blog post here at ppccourse.com. Step six, you're gonna add an event snippet to your conversion page. So whenever a conversion happens, you can choose on page load if they view the page or if somebody clicks through on something like a buy now button, then you can choose that as being your conversion point. And you put those two pieces of code on your site. One of them is global, the other one is local, meaning that it's only going on your conversion pages and you will start to track things. But you must add this code to your website for it to work. So that's an important distinction here is that if you wanna track conversions, and you wanna do it using the native Google AdWords conversion tracking method, then you need to add code to your website for it to work. 
Of course, if you don't want to add code to your website, there is an alternative way to do this, and that's through goal imports. So going back to our screen of conversions in Google AdWords, notice the fourth tab shows us importing, and you can choose different systems you want to import from, and that can import conversions into your account without necessarily having to write code. In this case, we're going to show Google Analytics, and you can actually import transactions, opt-ins, all kinds of different stuff from Google Analytics right into the interface using this option. And this is something that people use all the time if they don't have the ability to add code to their website. Now, I will warn you, doing the importing of conversion goals is nice. Just make sure you don't double up your conversions. Either you're going to use the AdWords code or you're going to use the imports. You're not going to use both. Otherwise, it's going to count double the conversions, and you're going to think you're doing well when you're probably not doing nearly as well because you've counted your conversions twice as many. And I'm going to end this video with a call to action. Conversion tracking equals accountability. And I think Google genuinely wants you to succeed. But they have 110 billion reasons to think they are already doing their job. People vote with their dollars. People vote with their money whether it's a corporation, whether it's a small business, whatever it is, they vote with their money. And $110 billion went to Google for advertising in 2017. So even though I can rant about how they don't show conversions and how they're misleading advertisers, the reality is the market says this is working. And here's the problem. You are given a blank canvas in a free market. Google's asking you to sink or swim. Those that swim, those that thrive, they do really well in the AdWords game. Those who sink, they say that AdWords doesn't work, and they blame it on Google, and they say, I'll never try it again. The reason why I created my PPC course is because it's a life preserver. It's something that helps you swim in this wild world of Google AdWords. It helps you make the right decisions. It helps you maximize your revenue, maximize your profits from Google AdWords, and it guides you in a place where you might feel a little bit lost. So if you're lost on conversion tracking, if you're lost on any of these items that we talk about, if you're just curious in general about how do you understand and navigate this world, if you wanna have your mind blown several times over, I definitely recommend you check out my PPC course because that's what I designed it to do. I designed it to help people who are just getting started, who don't really understand how everything works or who are a little bit intimidated by things, we go through Google AdWords step by step and I show you exactly the strategies that I use in order to optimize accounts, how to make things run better, how to make it so that both Google wins and your company wins. Your business, whether it's your business, whether you work for a business, whether it's your clients, doesn't matter. That is what PPC course does. We make you better at AdWords. We make everything a lot easier to navigate and we show you how to get the results that you really need to get the results that you desire, the results that will help you thrive in business. So check out ppccourse.com if you want to learn more about how Google AdWords works and how you can use it to your advantage for both your business and for your career.